It's time for another Eclipse Chapter Recap, and today it's Chapter 20. I'm Jocelyn Davis for Clever TV, and today it's chapter 20, Compromise. Now this chapter opens up with Bella all packed up and ready to go on her journey with Alice. Everything was already taken care of, her concert tickets, her dad, LaPush, the whole deal was all set. And it was all worth it, sort of at least, knowing that it would all be over in 48 hours. Edward tried to help Bella focus on something else, just the two of them being together. And Bella knew that she was ready to be one of them this time, a vampire. There was just one thing missing. There was one human experience that she didn't want to miss out on, and she was going to try and get it, whatever it took. But Bella was sort of nervous about this nonetheless. So when Bella finally arrives at the Cullen house, Edward was already meeting her with a kiss that basically turned into a total makeout fest, making Bella slightly optimistic. Maybe she would be able to get what she wanted out of Edward easier than she thought. So when Edward suggests that they go to his room and get the present that he'd gotten her, she jumped at the chance. She sat down on his bed, curled up in a ball, waiting for the gift, and it was a bracelet. It was the one with the wolf. You guys know what I'm talking about. But now it had a little added crystal. It was Edward's mother's, and he'd inherited it, trying to make it seem like it wasn't really a big deal, but it totally was. So the pair cuddle up on the bed, and Bella asks if they can talk about something. So she starts in saying that they'd been able to compromise beforehand, and now she wanted to do a similar sort of negotiation. Even Edward, though, could feel her heart beating out of control. First topic of conversation was the marriage situation. Bella wanted to know if it was up for discussion, but clarified that she wanted to chat about some of the details. Edward admitted that he wished Bella would wait just a year or so after they were married to be transformed, but she said that that was a non-negotiable. Bella still hadn't gotten down really to what she wanted to ask him. She started blushing and Edward was dying in suspense. Bella said that she was a little bit worried about after. Bella was concerned that after she changed, she'd be so obsessed with killing everyone in sight that she wouldn't really want him anymore. So she finally told him that there was something she wanted to do before she wasn't human anymore. He promised, saying that she could have anything she wanted. Bella was totally freaking out at this point. Then she finally said, you. He didn't really seem to get it, so she kissed him, trying to give him the big hint. But his mind was somewhere else, trying to figure out what exactly she was talking about. And then it clicked and he pushed her away. But she reminded him of what he had promised. Bella went on a rampage now. She was not happy, but her anger started fading. She had totally gotten rejected and she was mortified. Had he hurt her feelings? He wanted to know. Bella tried to tell him no, but he could see that she was hurt. So Edward tries to explain that he and practically everyone else out there seems to want her. Bella will not give up easily though. She says that she is not giving in to all of his demands unless he does what she wants. And he says that she is too breakable though, but Bella is so afraid of who she'll be in the future. Finally, Edward says that he could kill her and then he grabs something. It was a metal flower from the bed frame. He was showing her how he could crush the metal into black sand in just a moment. Wow. At this point though, Bella basically starts the shameless begging. Edward looked torn a bit, almost uncertain about his decision. Edward is bummed out big time. There were so many things that he wanted to give her and this was what she wanted. Then he seems to give in a little bit and oh yeah, the makeout sesh recommences, although this time it is way more intense. Bella thinks her wish is going to happen and then Edward tells her, nope, not tonight. He says that she has to marry him first, take it or leave it, another compromise. So that was that. They were engaged or were they? He kept on kissing her, trying to persuade her that way. The mini argument went on, but Edward said that they would try to fulfill Bella's wish after they were married. Hmm. Edwards explains that he's trying to protect her virtue. After all, he thinks she is the one with a soul. He tries to compare what he's doing to other moral staples, like not murdering people or not lying to people, although Bella is not really buying his excuses. So long story short here, Bella finally gets Edward's drift. He will not sleep with her until after they are married, and that's that. He says that their wedding doesn't have to be some huge event though. For all he cares, they could do a little drive-through through Vegas. He just wants it to be official. 
Then Edward asks if she wants her ring. And Bella says that he's acting like he already has one. And of course he does. Um, hello, he is Edward after all. At first, B acts like she doesn't want to see it, and she can see that Edward seems very hurt. And after a bit and a few pleases, Edward gives in, getting out the black box. So Bella opens the lid and sees the oval ring covered in glittering stones. Wow, it was beautiful. So she tries it on, and hey, it wasn't so bad. Of course, it fit perfectly. Edward was more overjoyed than Bella had ever seen him. So then he forces her to stand on up. He gets down on one knee to propose and Bella says yes. And with that, Bella and Edward are officially engaged and chapter 20 is over. So guys, here is your question. Why do you think Bella is really afraid to get married? Is it actually something that she feels or is she only worried about what others are going to think of her? Give us your answers right here. Up next is chapter 21 and we will be releasing more chapter recaps. Thank you everyone so much for watching Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis and I will see you next time.